Boston, Massachusetts, the destination for the 76ers. He's as pure a shooter as there is in the entire NBA. Bradley Beal will hit the hardwood. He leads his team as they get ready for the task ahead against the Celtics. Sixers, Celtics, coming up on 2K Sports. Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And a look now at the Boston Celtics' upcoming schedule. On Monday, they'll defend home court against the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Sunday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Alder. Kevin, thanks very much. Thank you, D.A. And at this point of the season, we see which teams have gotten better. Uh, what's the toughest threshold you think Doris to cross? I think, Kevin, two things come to mind. Obviously, championship is the aspiration of every team. Not everyone gets there. And then maybe the, the real pot of gold is sustained excellence, a run like you might have seen the San Antonio Spurs go through when the great Tim Duncan was on that roster. So championship and sustained success are the two things everybody's striving for. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. They've got Lowry. Robert Covington out there with Brandon Ingram. And then there's Steven Adams, and it's Beal in at the two. And for Boston, they've got Carl Anthony Towns, Bogdanovich out there with Paul. Then it's a Coral, and it's Millsap in at the four spot. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the play succeeds because Millsap comes to the court hungry. He chases down boards and second chance opportunities. Beal can't get it to go. Oh, and here we go. Coro's got it. The fast break chance. A three from Bogdanovich. Nailed from three-point land. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. And Adams kicks to Covington. Ingram outside. Over Millsap. And Coro pulls it down. The Celtics have gone 2-3 here to start out the game. Passes it to Towns. Bogdanovich against Beal. Here's Towns. Over Adams. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Oh, that's a strong finish. And Carl Anthony Towns will go to the line, try to put the cherry on top. And Doris, the offense is there for Towns. That, that's obvious. But how does he improve defensively? Well, you make a great point, number one. He's always carried such a heavy burden offensively. Remember, this is a big guy, actually size 20 feet. So quickness laterally has always been an issue. For me, it's about one thing. Know your personnel and play smart angles, and that should help immensely. Bounce pass from Paul. Towns down low. Adams defending, and that one's good. Towns. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. Here's Lowry. Covington kicks to Ingram. Over Millsap. And that one's good, Ingram. And, and the speed of Ingram makes him a nightmare for defenses in pick and rolls, constantly keeping them guessing. All against Lowry. Now here's Paul. D right on him. And that one is good. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. The 76ers off to a slow start. They trail by seven. Here's Lowry. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. I thought he might get a call there. I thought it was pretty clear contact. But we know Lowry's not looking for the whistle. This guy's just looking to put points on the board. Okoro. 
and it's Boston with another. The defense making it way too easy for him on that jump shot. He'll take that all night. The 76ers trail by seven. Ingram outside. Let's it go from deep. The shot will not fall. And it's Boston the other way. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. And, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters. And that led to some big-time rejections. The best defenses do a great job of protecting the rim. That team did not give an inch. They defended and contested every shot. And how about this stat? Over the course of Robert Covington's career, over 60% of his shots coming from long range. And Greg, the prototypical 3 and D guy, you almost want to reverse it because defense has been the pivot point for Robert Covington's emergence as a player in this league. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Jakob Pertl's checked in for Millsap. Bogdanovich comes in for Okoro. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Payne in for Paul. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Towns with the steal. Now Payne. Eight points his last outing. Makes it off the glass. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The 76ers trail by nine. And there's the pass to Kerr. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Payne with it. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Good on the triple. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Out left to the wing. Towns against Covington. Outside Curry. Shot to stop the run. Buries it from three-point range. Well, Seth Curry with the answer and the payback from distance. What a competitor. Now here's Payne. Defense right on him. Pass to Pirtle. Rejected by Ingram. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. His long reach really allowing him to collect a good number of block shots. Here's Curry. The putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Austin with the ball. Seven point differential. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Towns kicks to Payne. Six to shoot. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. The 76ers trail by seven. Here's Mann. From outside, off the mark. Payne looking around. And here's Bogdanovich for three. That shot, no good. And so it's the Boston Celtics heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And if you're wondering whether players watch the standings, check out... One thing we have to do is stop comparing us. You know, Greg, he makes a great point. Even when you have mostly the same guys, every season is different. And if you're a coach, it'll give you gray hairs trying to preach that to your players. Many guys don't believe it until they're in it and then have to dig themselves out of a hole. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And when you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what do you think? 
impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. So on the floor for Philadelphia, Adams is out there with Ingram. And it's Rajon Rondo. Then there's Maxi, And it's Mann in at the small forward position. Pass to Bogdanovich. Just five on the clock. Hurdle inside. Adams on him. Payne shot is good. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Here's Beal inside. And Ingram the bucket on the assist from Beal. Ingram's got eight points. Got to see Ingram get going down low. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. Ingram with the steal. Outside Rondo. Here's Mann. Outside for Beal. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Now this is an example of where he's grown. Bradley Beal getting it done in the screen and roll. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. If you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this era at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. <laughs> that, that wouldn't, I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously but but I, but I always pictured you as being fearless like you would never turn down that kind of challenge I wouldn't turn it down publicly <laughs> <laughs> now Chris Paul has been successful at the highest level in the NBA on and off the floor for such a long period of time I love his intellect his work habits everything he represents you can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself it's written all over his body language Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And the stroke of Ingram just looks so pure coming off his hand. Paul passes to Okoro. That's tipped, but he recovers it. Tries again, and that one good. Paul's got his second basket of the night. Well, there's been a consistency to the perimeter game of Chris Paul. That jump shot, as reliable as it gets. Ingram passes to Adams. Outside for Lowry. Back to Adams. Six on the shot clock. Outside Rondo. The tray. He's now one for two with that bucket. No doubt about that. It's a bonus anytime you can get Rondo to knock down those contested jump shots. Great focus there on the finish. The shot's good from Paul. Special. There just aren't many guys like him who can accelerate to the rim and finish in style. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And becoming more of a playmaker. Doris, I think that's where Adams made the most in terms of improvement last season. The numbers would back that up, Greg, because he practically doubled his assist rate. The Thunder actually ran their offense through him a little bit more often, and the team shared the ball more as a whole. For Brad Stevens, he said OKC was one of his favorite teams to watch last season, and there were many people who felt the same way. I like the mentality by Beal. Takes it inside, mixes it up a little bit. Nice. And so he hits both. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Poked away. Bogdanovich against Beal. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. 
And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. The 76ers shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Austin making a switch here. Towns has checked in. Free throw good, Beal. Boy, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Towns against Covington. 76ers have gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. The game now all time. Lowry's got his second basket of the game. Well, if you give him a window of opportunity, Kyle Lowry will attack the basket. He's not going to pass up that chance. Paul with the ball. Now Okafor defended. And Paul gets it to go in. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Here's Lowry. Beal taking his time here. From the arc. A shot missing. Now Boston takes it the other way. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Bogdanovich. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. Boston shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Lowry passes to Beal. Back to Lowry. Over Paul. Lowry can't get it to go. And this is a shot he can definitely make and the defense not a factor at all. Offensive rebound. Millsap misses. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Trailing by four. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Let's take a look now at some numbers for Beal. Great showing for him last season. Second in scoring. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings. Making plays for others and making his teammates better. And seeing what he did last year, just blowing up the defensive schemes designed to keep him under control. Man, as you said, second best score in the league. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Jakob Pertles checked in for Millsap. Bogdanovich comes in for Okoro. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Payne in for Paul. Bogdanovich against Beal. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 9 in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Beal's got the game tied up here for the 76ers. Here's Hero, guarded by Kerr. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. And slam dunk by Ingram. Really got to give props to Ingram for aggressively attacking the rim. Not many guys want to get in his path. 36 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Passes it to Purdy. Outside, Towns. And Bogdanovich kicks to Towns. Nice ball movement by Boston. Five to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Hero, no good with the triple. That one goes in. Now it's a 4.76ers lead. Seven seconds left in the second quarter. Right side Towns, shoots over Adams. Well, Stephen Adams will make you think twice if you're coming near the cup. He will send it back. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Philadelphia. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game. 
No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the floor for Boston. Chris Paul is out there with Bogdanovich. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. Then there's Paul Millsap. And it's Okoro in at the three. Here's Ingram. The rebound by the Celtics. Towns has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Paul. Releases from the wing and drills it. Paul's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Celtics. And last season, Carl Anthony Towns shooting over 40% from three-point range with over eight attempts a game. I mean, Greg, he is in the conversation, don't you think, for best three-point shooting center of all time? It's amazing, Kevin. His volume of threes is unprecedented for the center position. And it's not just standstill. Catch and shoot triples. He's hitting step backs. He could have that title when it's all said and done. Outside, Bogdanovich. Puts it up from 15. The rebound by Steven Adams. The 76ers leading by four. Here's Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. When Kyle Lowry is aggressive as a playmaker, his team goes to a different level. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Millsap. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Millsap's got six. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Timeout called the 76ers. A lot of great talkers over the years. Trash talkers on the floor in this league. You think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg? Or do they do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin? And Kevin, that's a, a great question. And believe it or not, you see both. I've seen guys who do it to get under your skin, and I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit. That's how they derive their confidence. And so uh, it's about you figuring out what works for you. I've seen some guys, they don't say smack. They don't, they don't say a word during the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that right now. No, we don't do that part. <laughs> Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Mann's checked in. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Kyle Lauer. You know, the amazing thing to me is as much as Bradley Beal has turned into a complete player for a guy who entered as simply a jump shooter, I think there's even another level he can get to. The 76ers leading by nine. Rondo finds Covington. Adams with it. Outside, Beal. Covington in the corner. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Paul passes to Towns, and the basket is good. He's got nine. Court vision, intellect, basketball IQ, the masterful distributor that is Chris Paul. Outside, Beal. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Covington down low. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Okoro with it. Now defended by Adams. Okoro shot is off. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. The pass to man. It's Beal on the wing. He's got 21, and it's in there. We know this. Bradley Beal is an elite scorer who will take advantage of every opportunity. Now a timeout called by Boston. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Maxi comes in for Rajon Rondo. Celtics trail by nine. Here's Payne, and the layup's good off the glass. Payne's got seven points in the game. 
That was just a perfect possession, getting in it in tight for the high percentage shot. And Curry has it in the corner. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got the lead up to 10 now for Philadelphia. Well, you cannot let Seth Curry have room to shoot on the perimeter. You are asking for trouble. And the dunk by Towns. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. With the shot. The rebound by the Celtics. 146 left in the third quarter. Here's Payne. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Nine points in the game so far. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Here's Curry. Nice shot from the wing. And the 76ers lead by eight. How about the timing? Can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Towns finds Pirtle. 112 left in the third. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Adams has got four rebounds now tonight. To the left side wing. Again, Philadelphia. Well, I don't care if the defense is contesting. Steven Adams is a brute who can score against the best defensive presence in the league. Payne passes to Towns. Baseline jumper. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And they pick up two. And now a 12-point 76ers lead. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Payne passes to Perna. Here's Hero. Basket good. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Pass to man. Towns against Covington. It's Curry outside. No good that time. From deep. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Philadelphia. They've leaned on him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. And we'll be right back after this. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. So on the floor for Philadelphia, they've got Seth Curry. Ari out there with Maxi, and then there's Steven Adams, and it's Ingram in at the four-man position. Pirtle with the ball, now defended by Adams. Shot clock at five. Payne passes to Hero. Gets the three-pointer to fall. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. Ingram against Millsap. Curry passes to Ingram. Three-pointer, Lowry. That shot is off. Now Boston takes it the other way. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that game closes out the four-game homestand for them. Philadelphia leading by seven. The Celtics shooting at 51%. Really solid. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Steven Adams picks one up. First free throw is good. Some changes for Philadelphia. Beal comes in for Curry. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Maxi, And he makes both free throws. 
a few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And Beal kicks to Rondo. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Beal's got his third assist on the night. What an outstanding pass, and Bradley Beal has come such a long way as a playmaker. Paul passes to Okiki. And he uses the glass on the layup. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. You know, I like that recognition. He knows he's in rhythm, knows this is the time to give his team some punch. Celtics trail by seven. Pass to Millsap. He kicks it to Paul. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, you think because of his frame, it would be easy to knock Chris Paul off balance, but this guy has concentration and tenacity. Really good job keeping his focus. Adams down low. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Austin making a switch here. Towns is checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Covington's checked in. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Passes to Okoro. Adam, some nice D. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Beal. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his fifth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by Boston. Timeout. Timeout. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens had to say to his team. I told him this is gut check time. This is when it gets real and when it gets fun. We're here to play in these big moments. Let's make this one count. Kevin, by my count, that's five cliches. A Coro shot is off. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. That one falls. Well, Bradley Beal just takes it right into the defender's chest. Beautifully done. Paul with the ball. Lowry picks him up. A three from Bogdanovich. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Adams has got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Beal, and finished off by Beal. We know this about Robert Covington. He is a team man first and foremost. Pretty pass. Now here's Paul. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. Ingram deciding where to go with it. There's the three. And the three ball is good. And the 76ers lead by 14. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. 
When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Towns. They get it back. Mills that dishes to Okoro. Beal against Bogdanovich. Shot clock at six. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. And there's Bradley Beal on the assist from Ingram. Beal's got 33. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Philadelphia. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned them the W. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Bradley Beal. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Hall. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. Well, there's a willingness to mix it up on the glass, and that's a big plush for Carl Anthony Towns. Beal's shot is good. Beal's got 37. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Adams. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. We are talking about a big-time offensive rebounder, and Steven Adams unafraid to impose his will with that frame. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Bradley, big win tonight. It looked like you guys had great offensive flow. How did you accomplish that? That was the most fun we had all year. I mean, by far. I mean, the ball was moving on offense. We were playing great team defense and, and getting out on a break and scoring. And when you're scoring that many points, it's always fun. Offense puts people in the seats and keeps players happy. Congratulations, Bradley. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.